Welcome to the webinar, Keeping Up with the Evolving Standards of Care While Keeping Expert Witness Costs Down. My name is Mark Kusa, and I'm the Editorial Director for MedMal Navigator. We all know that relying on expert witnesses is a costly necessity when it comes to managing medical malpractice cases. During this webinar, we are going to illustrate how you can significantly reduce your reliance on expert witnesses across your MedMal cases thereby cutting hours of very costly expenses, whether you are representing the plaintiff or the defense. We are going to introduce you to a medical malpractice litigation solution that LexisNexis launched earlier this year called LexisNexis MedMal Navigator. And through this interactive tool, we will demonstrate how you can obtain the critical information and guidance you need without relying so heavily on experts. With MedMal Navigator, you can identify potential breaches in the standard of care before even talking to an expert. Access comprehensive and authoritative medical research on your medical issues, allowing you to educate yourself before ever talking to an expert. Get highly targeted medical articles delivered right to you that address standards of care for your medical topic. Set up alerts across various medical issues that notify you when pertinent new publications or scientific content are added to Lexis Advance. The MedMal Navigator interactive tool is helping attorneys across the country to balance the scales between medical research and costly medical experts. So let's get started. I'd like to now introduce my colleague, Autumn Manley, a LexisNexis MedMal litigation specialist who will walk you through MedMal Navigator tool and address all of the items I've shared with you here and more. Thanks, Mark. MedMal Navigator is accessible from the Lexis Advanced Platform. The landing page, as seen here, contains 100 of the most commonly litigated medical topics, categorized by medical specialty. By expanding an area of medical specialty, you will see the list of medical topics that are listed beneath. Selecting one of the medical topics will take you to what we call the dashboard. Keep in mind here that as nice as it would be to have an exhaustive list of medical issues and topics, that's really not possible. So we began with, as I said, 100 of the most commonly litigated medical topics, and we will continue to expand from there. As I mentioned, selecting a topic from the landing page in the topic list will bring you to what we call the dashboard. And here, you will be provided with a centralized location from which you can perform many different types of research specific to the medical topic that you had selected previously. Each of these research tasks is represented by what we call a pod. The dashboard was designed for flexible workflow, which means you may approach the pods in any order that you like. The case value assessment pod helps you to evaluate the risk to prosecute or defend a case by comparing the facts of your case to facts from editorially selected verdicts and settlements from our jury verdicts collection. By answering questions regarding your current case, we are able to make a comparative analysis between your case and similar verdicts and settlements in select jurisdictions. At a glance, you can see ranges of verdicts, identify which verdicts and settlements most closely match your case, and click on links for more information as well as case documents. The legal analysis pod features a questionnaire as well. By answering questions regarding your current case, we are able to construct a complex terms and connector search string that will lead you to precisely the research materials you need across all Lexis Advanced content types, saving you time and ensuring that you are building the best case on behalf of your client. The Research and Expert Witness pod allows you to search for experts by area of expertise and location, or investigate a known expert, your own or opposing counsels, providing access to full text depositions, trial transcripts, affidavits, reports, and Daubert trackers, in addition to graphs and charts representing statistics pertaining to the expert's experience as a witness. The Research Parties pod provides the necessary tools to investigate people involved in your case, plaintiffs, defendants, witnesses, jurors, 
experts, et cetera. Our public records represent the most robust database in the legal market with over 38 billion public records, including essential information like real property assets, bankruptcies, judgments and liens, professional licenses, healthcare provider information and sanctions, criminal history, addresses, family and business relationships, and much more. The two pods that we will focus on throughout the remainder of this webina webinar, though, are the standard of care and medical research pods. To explore these two pods, we will launch into a live presentation. Here we are on the MedMal Navigator landing page, as we've seen previously. And from here, I will expand the hematology specialty area. You'll see several options housed within hematology. And for purposes of this example in the webinar, we will select deep vein thrombosis. Now, I'd like you to imagine that you are involved on one side or the other in a medical malpractice case involving the alleged failure to diagnose or delay in treatment of this condition. You will most likely be unfamiliar with the terms you see in the case file, whether they be diagnostic tests, treatment options, et cetera and will benefit from having an efficient way of gaining a deeper understanding of the medical issues involved. Many of the clients who are now using MedMal Navigator are coming from a process in which they relied heavily or nearly exclusively on their expert or experts to educate them. For a plaintiff's attorney, this is an expensive way to determine whether a case is meritorious, and for either side, relying so intently on an expert to provide a to Z education in the case means you are paying for many more hours of consultation. In order to assist you in reducing this reliance and the related expense, MedMal Navigator offers the standard of care pod, which features a questionnaire written by medical expert consultants. We have these experts review medical journals, textbooks, and guidelines to synthesize the standard of care, essentially condensing their own thought process into these easy to use questionnaires. You will notice the questions on the left, and to the right you have annotations explaining why this is important and providing you a link out to related medical resources should you need to explore further. As you answer questions based on the facts of your case, you will see down below that we provide you with signals indicating whether or not there appears to be a breach in the standard of care according to the facts that you've provided. You'll see that the green circle indicates no issue with the standard of care according to medical guidelines, while the red circle with an exclamation mark indicates a potential issue according to medical guidelines. A great advantage of this questionnaire is that you have the ability to adjust previous answers and to view upcoming questions. If you'd like to change a previous answer, you can simply click on the drop-down and return to change any answer that you need to. Once you've changed that answer, you'll see that the signal adjusts according to the information you provided. Upcoming questions here, if I were to click, would display the information that will be covered. You don't skip ahead here, but you can get an idea of what information we'll be covering as far as diagnostic testing, treatment pursued by the clinician, and different terminology that you will inevitably encounter during the course of your case. Our clients find a tremendous amount of value from this questionnaire. Not only does it help them to evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of their case, but it also helps them to prepare for expert meetings, interrogatories, depositions, and trial. Even attorneys who have a lot of experience in medical malpractice cases find it very useful to have the ability to quickly access related medical information by potential issue. So for example, if there was a question as to whether the physical examination in my case was thorough or not, this would be a very helpful link. I can simply click here and be taken directly to the full text journal article from Elsevier Science and scroll down to learn more about this issue and related areas. Now I'll return us to the dashboard, and we're going to go next to the medical research pod. 
So in addition to the standard of care pod, you have the medical research pod in MedMal Navigator, which was designed to give you a time efficient and cost effective way of obtaining a variety of medical research on the issues you encounter in your medical malpractice litigation. Many of the issues, topics, or general terminology you will want to investigate here, you will have uncovered through your exploration of the standard of care pod. Once I've expanded the medical research pod as I have here, you will see there are several layers of information. Initially, you will see that there is a list of medical topics. You will see both direct and related results based on the topic you had selected. Of course, if you need to search something in particular that you do not see on our list of suggestions, you can perform that search here in the box, or you can search alphabetically through the database. The database, which bears mention, is First Consult, an evidence-based clinical resource program published by Elsevier Science and used by physicians and nurses for on-the-job access to medical information. If deep vein thrombosis is, in fact, what you need to learn more about, you simply click on the link, and you will be taken to a page where you will find essentially A to Z on this medical topic. You can use the table of contents on the left-hand side to navigate through the document, quickly accessing authoritative information on prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. So, for example, if D-dimer essay test is of specific import in your current case, you may want to link directly to the information on this topic, and you can do that here. Now, if there are other types of diagnostic testing that you're interested in comparing to the D-dimer essay test, this is a great resource for that information. And you can simply scroll through to look at the information related to the other types of diagnostic testing commonly involved with deep vein thrombosis. Now, if we scroll back up to our table of contents, you'll find that another very useful area of information in here is treatment. Oftentimes with our med mal litigation, we encounter issues involving medications that were prescribed or, or were not prescribed. If you have questions or concerns that you need to investigate regarding whether a dosage amount was appropriate or whether contraindications were overlooked by the prescribing physician, you can quickly link to the specific medication it is that you're interested in and obtain that information. You'll notice throughout this document that there are footnotes. And these footnotes link you down to the resources section at the bottom of the document. I'm going to scroll back up to our table of contents just briefly to show you that resources section as a whole. You'll see we break the resources section down into many different areas. Some of the most popular areas are evidence references and guidelines. For example, if we were to click on the guidelines link, you will be brought down to the latter part of this document where we give you links not only to the organizations and associations producing these guidelines, but links out to the guidelines themselves. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the top of this document and take us back over to our dashboard so that we can continue to explore the medical research pod. The results list we just looked at is just the first layer of information provided here. Next, we'll look at the link for view medical illustrations. And by clicking on this link, where we are taken is into Lexis Advance, and we find images, high resolution 3D, that we have licensed at Lexis from a physician-led company, ArchieMD, which is a leading provider of visually based health and science education. If deep vein thrombosis, as in this example, is what I would like to learn more about or, or potentially illustrate for the jury, I can click on that link and I'll be taken to a page where this condition is breaking, broken down step by step with an annotation at each juncture explaining what is happening. Now I can click on any one of these images to enlarge and I can simply right click to save or print. We do license these images from Archie with the intention that they will be used for that purpose as trial demonstratives and exhibits. So there is no copyright issue with you using them um, for those purposes. Now I'm gonna take us back to the previous page and show you just one other example of these images so you can get a great idea of the quality that you're seeing here.
And now we're going to return back to our dashboard and once again enter the medical research pod. The last layer of this pod is going to be the link here, search for selected topic and all medical content. Clicking on this link is going to launch us into the full text medical journals that we feature um, by way of Elsevier Science, which is the world's leading provider of health and science information. Here we have the ability to narrow and filter our search results. The original results list that you're seeing here come from the topic you had selected in MedMal Navigator being run as a search in Lexis Advanced Big Red Search Box and are housed here in, under the Science tab. On the left-hand side are the sorting and filter capabilities I referenced just a moment ago. So if you have keywords or terms that you want to narrow your search with, you can type those in here. If you scroll down, one of the post-search filters that's very impactful for medical malpractice cases specifically is the timeline filter. You can very quickly choose a time frame from which you want to access medical literature. You may not want something too outdated, but you also don't want anything published post-injury. So let's say, for example, the incident you're researching occurred in 2010. You don't want anything published after that point. You see how I very quickly narrowed the results to those dates. Now let's say, for example, I uh, would like to set an alert, okay, to keep abreast of any changes with this area of, of medicine or with this medical topic specifically. The bell icon you see here where my cursor is hovering is where you're able to set an alert. We will keep you updated on any new articles that are published that would have been recovered by this search originally. Now I'm going to eliminate this filter and return us to our original results list. Once you find an article that's of specific interest to you, you can click into that article and it will take you to a page we've seen before a few minutes ago. But one really special feature of what you're able to access uh, through MedMal Navigator is the original source image. By clicking on this link, I'll be taken to the PDF version of this article as it originally appeared in the Elsevier Journal. I can quickly navigate through the document using the table of contents on the left-hand side, and I can print or save directly from this version. I'm going to return us now to the, to the results list where we were looking at the articles. And I want to point out uh, one very neat feature, which is the sort by in the, the far right-hand corner. You'll see the default is to sort by relevance, which for research purposes makes sense. But I want to show you the power of the database that we have here through our unique relationship with Elsevier Science. If we were to sort by date, newest to oldest, you'll see that we actually have future dated publications included in this database. Once an article has been written and edited, peer reviewed, and it's set for the upcoming volume of a certain journal, Elsevier has to wait, obviously, to fill that, that volume with so many articles. By virtue of our relationship with Elsevier, we have direct access online to those articles while they await official publication. So you have constant access to the most up-to-date medical information available. And again, the alert feature is going to help you uncover those articles as they become available through Elsevier directly online. We will return now to our dashboard. And I'm actually going to turn it over now to Mark again. And he's going to explore with us specifically how the standard of care pod will illuminate for you changes that that come of a standard of care in a specific topic. Mark? Thank you. As Autumn indicated, I'd like to quickly provide a real-time example of how MedMal Navigator, specifically in this instance, the standard of care pod, keeps you up to date on recent changes that could apply to your case. Further, it does so in a manner that seamlessly aligns with your workup. So we're going to select failure to diagnose and delay in treatment of breast cancer. From there, we're going to jump into the standard care pod. For our purposes today, we're going to highlight the questions that are addressing the BRCA gene. In approximately the past two years, the BRCA, or breast cancer antigen gene, 
has become a significant focus, not only in the medical world, but in the public eye as well, as Angelina Jolie still publicly was screened for and possessed this gene. As most of you likely know, she ultimately had a double mastectomy because of this. So the first question addresses the results of the BRCA genetic testing. While in and of itself, it is not a breach in the standard of care, uh, regardless of what answer is given here, it is likely to be brought up in any case where this genetic testing plays a role. Additionally, it ties into this next question, which due to recent changes, can singularly support a breach in the standard of care. You see, in recent years, the clinician's recommendation to perform the test or failure to do so can single-handedly support a breach in the standard of care. If, if you handled a breast cancer case three or four years ago, this probably would not have been an issue at all. But as our experts indicate, this evolution in the standards has occurred in approximately the last two years and is fully represented in our standard of care pod. So as you see, answering no to this question would clearly highlight our little red light, which denotes a potential breach in the standard of care. Our why is this important section and the medical research pod could then direct you to additional literature on this topic. So you can be fully prepared for this relatively new issue at any stage in your pre-litigation or discovery. At the very least, you would avoid being blindsided by it. So we will, con we will not continue with the questioning here but it would close out the BRCA issue and move on to the rest of the issues that should be accounted for in most breast cancer cases. So if you were working up a breast cancer case and BRCA genetic testing wasn't on your radar at all, or you simply did not know the weight that it currently bears in a breast cancer case, a simple run through of the directed questions and answers we have here would provide you this most up-to-date information and much more in a very succinct and straightforward manner. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. What I would like to do now is address some of the most frequently asked questions that I receive as a medical litigation specialist with Lexis in regards to the MedMal Navigator tool. In order to do that, I'm going to return us to our landing page, which I can do very easily by clicking on this icon here. And remember that the landing page is where we house those 100 most commonly litigated medical topics. As we discussed, that is far from an exhaustive list of medical issues and topics. So the question is often presented, what do I do if I need to research an issue that I cannot find on the topic list? You'll notice above the topic list where it says, not finding a topic, research all medical topics. This is a link. And if I click on it, it will take me to a place where I am able to access a general medical research pod. From here, I can very easily browse alphabetically through the first consult database that we explored earlier during the deep vein thrombosis example, or I can run a search through over 900 medical issues and topics included here. So, for example, if I were to type in something like um, concussion, that will take me to a place where I can access direct or related results based on that keyword from the first consult database. I can access related medical illustrations or click on this link to run the word concussion through the full text journal database on Lexis Advance. You can also do much of the research that you can do through MedMal Navigator directly from the research experience on Lexis Advance. When you're at the big red search box, you can type in any terms that you might need, for example, hip replacement, and press search. You'll want to go to the Science tab, which is where we house the articles and the illustrations. And then you have the same abilities to search within results, narrow and filter according to what it is specifically that you're looking for. Now I'm going to turn things back over to Mark for the conclusion of our webinar. Thank you. It is true that knowledge is power, and by familiarizing ourselves with the medicine, the records become much less intimidating. By leveraging the MedMal Navigator solution, you can limit your reliance on experts, 
saving hours of time with your experts and cutting your expenses. You yourself will be able to read through medical records with confidence and quickly educate yourself on the medical issues, understand potential deviations from the standard of care, weigh strengths and weaknesses, in order to develop your best case strategy, as well as communicate confidently with any expert that you do decide to engage with. Thank you for your interest in our webinar. If you have any questions, please fill out the form and submit any questions through the comments field. You can also contact your LexisNexis account representative or call the number on this screen. Have a great day.